gonna be a long night. It's gonna be a long night. I'm so tired of people using this pedal and acting like it's okay. You need to grease that bad boy up. I hate you! Ah! Well, that's the last one. Every Metal Zone video watched, have you? That pedal was our last hope. No, there is another. Hello guys, Colin here. Boss have just done the unspeakable and released the Wazacraft Metal Zone, a made in Japan, high-end version of their second most popular pedal. Refined, tuned and modified to provide the most elite Metal Zone experience while addressing the shortcomings of the original effect. I'm not going to waste any more of your time, let's hear how this sounds. <laughs> The original Metal Zone was first released in 1991, and for a pedal that's pushing nearly 30 years in the scene, it continues to be popular, especially amongst beginners. The second-hand market is awash with these units. Once a player upgrades to a better amp, these are usually not long to follow. But with the introduction of the Wazacraft Metal Zone, or the Waza Zone as I'm going to refer to it throughout this video, this might be something not only to keep around, but may even become the primary source of your distortion. So what's changed with this iteration to make up for the decades worth of bad reputation the original received? Well this has been redesigned from the ground up with improvements to the buffer, primary gain structure, EQ controls and the internal tone filters. What you get here is an all analog signal path through discrete components specifically chosen for their sonic properties and not whatever cheapest wholesale components were available at the time. These are made in Japan by the best electronics engineers and technicians Boss has to offer. You know, the way they used to make pedals back in the golden days. The mode switch selects between two different flavours. Standard is a low noise, refined and perfected version of the original Metal Zone, where the distinctive mid-boost curve of the first gain stage is retained and the EQ controls are optimised for better performance. Custom is a whole new modified mode which brings the Waza Zone up to date with modern metal sensibilities. The first gain stage has a wider frequency range while the post gain filter tightens the low end. This provides a fast attack and aggressive response that will specifically benefit downtuned or extended range guitars. The mid frequency control here has a narrower cue than the original for more targeted shaping of your mid boost or cut.
Critically, the biggest improvement here is that you can run this pedal into the front of an amplifier, like you're supposed to do with pedals, and it sounds amazing. And you don't have to fall back on the preamp trick that was the salvation of the original effect. I find the custom mode works particularly well in this fashion. <laughs> Should you want to run the Waza Zone as a preamp, then that is also possible with incredibly good results. I find standard mode works best for this. <laughs> Despite the name, it's not just for metal. With all those improvements to the noise floor, tone shaping and distortion stage, the Wazacraft Metal Zone can be utilised as a good quality, low gain pedal. Check this out. <laughs> It's clear
clear boss of taking all the criticisms of the original Metal Zone into consideration when creating this elite Wazacraft version. Literally everything I complained about previously has been corrected with this upgraded unit. Sucky buffer? It's gone, replaced with a high-end Waza designed circuit. Noise floor? None. This operates near silently. You don't even need a noise gate. Revised internal tone shaping? We've got it! Twice! Runaway gain stage? It's been addressed to the point where we can use this as a quality low gain distortion. And those EQ controls? Not nearly as twitchy. You don't have to fear moving these knobs, offering more usable sounds from the box. My argument has always been if you fix these problems, the Metal Zone would be a great pedal. And now Boss have done just that. I wish there was something for me to complain about, but even with my history and the things that I've said about the Metal Zone in the past, not a single objection remains. This is the pedal the Metal Zone should always have been. Boss were very confident in putting this into my hands. They knew full well my reputation and my opinion of the original, but they were still like, we know you'll love it, which says a lot about how happy they are with what they've managed to achieve with this effect. I'm glad I didn't have to shit all over it. This highlights exactly what a good high gain distortion pedal should be, and it's light years ahead of the original. The Boss Wazacraft Metal Zone is the upgrade the MT2 deserved, providing a polished, refined, and savage distortion box that's worthy of the name's iconic status. And if you've liked this video and you want to see more content from me, then you can hit that subscribe button and that will notify you of all new content as it comes out. My Patreon's also there for exclusive secret stuff if you wish to support me further, and there's other videos you might not have seen. But that's all for now, guys. Keep it loud, and I will see you later.